So on Monday, I ran up to Asheville to my main clay supplier to restock on clay. When I make trips like this, I take the trailer and I try to go ahead and buy an entire ton of clay at once. I get a better price break on that. And when I do that, I also try to stock up on bulk materials, 50 pound bags of materials like feldspar or clay or what have you, because that price break carries over onto those items. So I go up on Monday, everything goes great. I check out. The price, uh, the, the total is a little bit higher than I uh, anticipated that it would be intuitively, but I didn't really check any pricing before I went. And I got a lot of bulk materials, so I just figured, okay, this will probably all add up. I get out to the car, I look at the receipt, and the, the price of lithium is $51 a pound and change. And I'm like, oh my God, what the hell happened to lithium? And I think about it for a couple of minutes and realize electric vehicles. Because of course, electric vehicles require lithium ion batteries to operate, to hold the charge. And the lithium comes from the same material that I use in my glazes. When I got back to the shop, I was able to look up the historic price of lithium and it's gone up 406% in the last year. I'll have to look at the records to see how long ago it was that I bought lithium carbonate, but the price wasn't anywhere near that. It has been going up gradually over time, but in the last year it has just jumped as the electric vehicle market in China has woken back up. So I buy a 10 pound bag of lithium carbonate. This is what it looks like right here. And it is a $500 bag of lithium that I've just bought. And I'm like, oh. <laughs> So, I mean, talk about sticker shock. Fortunately, I don't use a huge amount of lithium and over time I can adjust some of my glazes away from the use of lithium. Lithium carbonate or lithium oxide in general is helpful in adjusting the uh, coefficient of expansion for a glaze uh, lower so that it'll fit the clay that it's on. It can also get some good color responses, but it, it's not an essential ingredient in most of my glazes and anything that I do feel it is essential for, I can just hold most of this lithium for that. So it's, it's not the end of the world, but it, it is just kind of like, wow. I can use another material called spodramine in my glazes. It's a lithium feldspar. There are a few other materials that I could use too, but spodramine is the most immediately available. But the lithium oxide in um, spodramine is at a much lower concentration than lithium carbonate. So it will take some time to adjust the glazes over. But it's just one of those rude awakening moments when I realized that my tiny little pottery business here in Morganton, North Carolina, is every bit as tied into the world economy as, as any bigger industry is. It just trips me up sometimes when I don't realize it in the moment. Have a great day.